Welcome to Elimi Kasasa channel. Uh, today we are going to learn on the issue of plants that eat insects and animals. Most of us know that animals are the ones that feed on plants, but it's very amazing now if, uh, for us, for those of, of us who do not know this, that there are plants which feed on insects and animals and therefore uh, these plants are called carnivorous or insectivorous plants so carnivorous plants are the plants that derive most of their nutrients from trapping and consuming insects and small animals they also feed on protozoans uh, different type uh, types of uh, insects and uh, as i said like uh, uh, butterflies like uh, house flies and uh, they also feed on reptiles earthworms on frogs on lizards and uh, on rodents carnivorous plants have adopted to grow in places where soil is thin or poor in nutrients especially nitrogen there are about 583 species of carnivorous plants which attract, trap, and kill prey and absorb the available nutrients from the prey. These plants have insect attracting structures such as colorful leaves. Other plants uh, produce sweet sugar secretion like nectar. Others have stick hairs, others have thorns, and others has, uh, have poisonous liquids. These plants trip uh, prey through different ways, such as opening and closing their leaves when an insect enters the leaves. Others are snap traps through rapid leaf movement. Others have uh, bladder traps that suck prey in internal vacuum and, and others engulf a prey when lens on the leaves. The plants, as I said, adopt, uh, uh, these plants, as, as I said, uh, adopt in areas with low soil fertility. So they depend on getting their nutrients through prey they catch and digest them. This is, uh, an, uh, an, uh, this is an adaptation uh, feature uh, for these plants. This is very amazing that uh, some animals uh, feed on plants, uh, but some plants also feed on animals and insects. In all studied cases, carnivorous plants grow and reproduce using animals and insects as a source of nitrogen, potassium, and uh, phosphorus. Some names of carnivorous plants are called uh, Aldovanda, Brokinia, Biblis, and Catopsis. Though there are so many names. Uh, the most danger dangerous uh, carnivorous plant is called Venus flytrap. It is found in North and Southern Carolina in the United States of America. These plants are characterized by steep sharp and sensitive hairs if by any chance these hairs are touched the two lobes of the leaves will shut, snap shut trapping anything inside this can even injure a person's finger by causing blood out if uh, leaves catch the finger however there are some carnivorous plants that can catch or trap rats the good uh, example is a pitcher plant. This is the largest meat-eating plant in the world. It is big enough to uh, trap rats. You see now uh, there are other plants that is trap, uh, trap those small animals like uh, rats and rodents. However, there are plants which trap big animals like goats and sheep. Uh, basically, the, um, the last type of plants uh, do not eat animals as the above mentioned. Uh, but these plants, uh, what they do uh, is that they grow razor sharp spikes which can hook and trap animals. Then they starve the animal when animals die uh, and they decompose to the soil. Then the plants get the nutrients from the decaying animal's matter on the ground.
the good example of this plant is the puya plant uh, which is found in chile which traps big animals like goats and sheep so this uh the last uh, uh, type of plant as i said the puya plant uh they just call they just engulf the animals and they cause them to die because uh, those animals if in the long term uh, they lack food and water then if they die then these plants will depend are uh, getting the, the the nutrients from the the, the, the dead bodies uh, animal from the decomposed uh, 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 uh body in the soil Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, welcome again uh, to Elimika Sasa channel so that you can learn more. Thank you.